Picking up where we left off last, I wanted to demonstrate still how to place in that word pool. So I'm going to click in here after type or clicking on the text tool, which again was right here. I'm going to type in the word pool. And then what is kind of cool that I like to demonstrate to you guys is that if you click on this line, you can then go to this item right here and we can either make it so it's clear or white I should say uh, you could also make it so it's a darker blue uh, which I like to do is I make it transparent so it kinda like seems like a pool in there now the next one that I want you to do is I want you to place a patio over here in this section here so we're gonna go and we're gonna grab a new shape for that one. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna get something that looks pretty cool uh, in a patio shape. So I'm gonna choose this one here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six from the rectangle. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that item right here. And you'll see where I have this little edge right here. I'm going to show you what I got for an idea here. Let's spin this. And we're going to expand it because it's a patio. I'm going to make it big. All right, now we're also going to color our patio. And I want you to color that patio a gradient color. So to get those gradient colors, to get those gradient colors, you're going to want to come into here and choose custom. And then I would like to have our deck be a uh, brown color. So I'm going to look for a brown. And we're going to bring that gradient in. And I kind of like that one right there. So there's my deck or my patio. So we're going to go ahead and call that patio. Again, after I clicked on that text tool. And the last thing we need to name is our deck down here next to the sunroom. Now to do this, we're going to click on the text tool again. And if you just type in the word deck. Now, you'll see how I had that spin tool up here. You can spin the text as well. But now if you see it, our deck is just like this. And we can do Control C and Control V. That allows us to get the same size of those two items. And we can just go and place them right inside where we want our deck to be labeled. Now, if you'd like I'm going to go ahead and review the text sizes that I used. For the sunroom, I used a text size of 18. For the pool, I used also a text size of 18. And for the deck, I did 18. And also for the house, I did 18. And for the patio, lastly, I did 18 as well. Go ahead and go into the next movie to show you how to do the sidewalk and the trees.